Hi guys, it's Ben here, back with a preview of Liverpool versus Chelsea. It's been about 48 hours since that equaliser went in in Seville. And obviously we're at a point now where we have to just completely move on, forget about it. We're in good form in the league. Um, and when you step away from it, you realise it's a good point in Seville. The circumstances are obviously, you know, a, a big issue in this. We should have won the game, we should have seen it out. We bowled it and it's been typical Liverpool of the last three, three or four seasons really. We've just not got the mental capability to see out games uh, when it matters most. We've not got the faith in ourselves, we've not got the leadership. The same conversation we've had ever since the opening day of the season, even when we let a lead slip there in the last minute. Conceded from a set piece, drew three all against Watford, a side we should have really swept away, a side we're better than, I believe we're better than Sevilla. But we have too many brain-dead footballers, we have too many uh, people who can't lead a team, too many people who can't deal with adversity. And it's a shame because we've got so much talent, so much attacking prowess in this team. A, a, a team that can see off anybody, really. A team that can score three or four goals past any team in this league. Uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't be confident going to any game. Uh, but we all know what can happen at the other end, so any team should be confident against us by the same token. It's, it's completely attack and defence, polar opposites, and that's going to be Liverpool Football Club for a long while, I, I feel. It's been a Liverpool Football Club ever since 13-14. That was why we didn't win the league that season, because our defence let us down too often, stupid mistakes, and that was the case again in Seville. But we have to move on. We're in good form in the league. We've won three in a row. We've put 10 goals past uh, three different teams. Uh, when you combine them all, all those results, West Ham, Huddersfield, Southampton, all comfortable, comfortable wins. And Chelsea come to Anfield, a good side, the champions. Um, they're going to be tough to break down. Conte is obviously going to set them up. He's going, they're going to be well organised. I'm pretty sure they're going to play Aspilicueta at wing back. It's going to be that sort of day. They're going to sit in. Then they're going to play um, Hazard off Morata. And then it's going to be a pretty rigid midfield three of Fabregas, Bakayoko and Kante. It's going to be very, very tough. A lot of energy in that side. A lot of maturity. A lot of men. Um, whether David Luiz comes back, I don't know. But... It's going to be tough. We're going to have to start fast. Uh, something we always seem to do. It's whether we can hang on, whether we can concentrate, whether we can shut down Hazard, uh, not dive in on him, not get too tight to him so he can turn you. He's going to be the one you need to avoid. And of course, we have to make sure Morata, we're not getting, let, letting them put balls on Morata's head or letting him have too much space to do his magic because he is a fantastic striker, one I completely underestimated when he first joined, one I've been very impressed with since. Uh, it's going to be tough, it's going to be loud, it's going to be a great evening at Anfield. I'm really excited for the game and I'm not letting Tuesday night get in the way of how optimistic I am about Liverpool's current form. Um, I've often been criticised for being too negative, I am often very negative, but I'm still feeling good about the league form, feeling good about Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane, Roberto Firmino's form up front, feeling good about Coutinho. There's often, uh, there's still a, a question mark over Jordan Henderson, his leadership, his captaincy, his ability. Uh, the same goes for the other midfielders. Gini Wijnaldum's taking a bit of stick. Emery Chan, people people like him, people don't like him. Uh, so, you know, apart from the front four, I guess, uh, with Alana to come back into that as well, um, there, there are doubts over lots of our players. Everyone's arguing about Moreno, everyone's arguing about Lovren. Um, but the only ones people are sort of unanimous on are, are probably Joe Gomez and maybe Trent as far as the defenders are concerned. Only one of those will feature this weekend, if any, I'm sure. So, it's exciting. Let's look at the, let's look at the uh, predicted lineup. I mean, Mignolet, of course, will start. Karras made some good saves in midweek, but, you know, with letting that late goal in and the general uncertainty that he still has, I don't think he's done enough quite yet to, to real, really give the manager a selection headache in the league. Uh, defensively, I think Joe Gomez should come back in and then we'll stick to Lovren, Clavin, and Moreno, um, Matip obviously still injured. Moreno's mistake mistakes in midweek, you know, don't look good. Um, but I think the manager will show some faith. I think he will reward him for his solid start to the season. Solid start, not a great start, um, which is unfortunate for Robertson. I think he will get his chance. I think he will deserve his chance when he does come in. I'm sure he'll get some games over Christmas. But I think Moreno will keep his place for this one. But he, this might be the time where we start looking at rotating because there are a lot of games coming up sort of every three or four days now. So look, I wouldn't be upset if Robertson came in or even Milner. Uh, into midfield, I, I just think we're going to keep this very similar to last week's team. I think it will be Henderson, Wijnaldum and Coutinho. And uh, then I, I just think we'll have to go with the front three of Mane, Salah and Firmino. I think that's, that's what we have to do if we want to win this game. We don't want to be throwing away this game and then bringing the big guns back for Stoke and Brighton. We need to be winning this one and maybe if we need to rotate, do it at Stoke, do it at Brighton. We should have enough anyway to see off those teams. I don't want to see much rotation anyway. I want to keep it you know, as much as that front three and that sort of you know, Coutinho midfield and 
you know, the, the, the real sort of hub of our team. We want to keep that as, as consistent as possible throughout Christmas. But I understand the fitness uh, issues. I understand everything. I understand the injury risks that come with that. So. This is going to be a this is going to be a real game, a real test. I mean, we've had big wins. I mean, I, I dubbed West Ham a huge game. I dubbed Southampton a huge game. We've got past both of those sides. Yes, we've had this Seville nightmare in midweek in terms of the uh, the comeback, but in, as far as the league's concerned, we're above Arsenal. We're only a few points behind Chelsea. We're right up there with United and Spurs. Uh, City obviously pulling away. I think you know, as I said, we can forget the league, but. If we can win this, we can go level on points with Chelsea, we're still up there with Spurs and United, and we're still competitive as far as the top four, top two, three are, are concerned. I mean, so I mean, despite that real rut we had in September and October, we might still be there and thereabouts come, come after this weekend. So, oh, it's, it's a tough one to predict. I, even how Chelsea's set up, where David Luiz comes in, I mean, he played a midweek for them and they kept the clean sheet. He's back in the fold. I thought he was going to be completely bombed out until sort of January, but looks like he's weaved his way back in, whether he's going to be a regular for them, we'll see. I mean, Rudiger played, Christensen's having a run, so uh, I mean, they usually go of uh, Aspilicueta, Christensen and Cahill. Whether they'll bring in a, a Louise or a Rudiger into the starting lineup this weekend and then push Aspilicueta onto the right instead of Zappa Costa, I imagine that's what they'll do to try and nullify, to try and nullify Mane and Salah. It's going to be very interesting. I don't think it's going to. I don't think there's going to be many goals. I can't see us. I can't see them going for many goals, and I can't see us breaking that team down very easily. Despite you know our, our, our attack being among the best in the league, if not the best in the league, behind Man City. So excited, intrigued, looking forward to getting on that cop end. Looking forward to the whole afternoon and evening. It's going to be a great one. Hopefully, the atmosphere is what it should be. You know, full of life, full of noise, full of passion, and hopefully uh, the three points will come. Can I can I pick us to win? I want to. I really want to, and I do think we're going to start fast and score early. Um, Chelsea. They, they haven't won at Anfield since 2014, I think, when Costa and Cahill scored for them. Um, I think it's been. I think we've drawn one all in the two meetings at Anfield since. And I wouldn't rule out that score on this time. I think I am going to go for a one all. Uh, I think Salah's going to score for us, but. I think Maratta might score for them, so I'm going to go for a one one. If I, if, gun to my head, if I had to pick a winner, I would pick us, and we are the favourites with the bookies. I think we're 11 to 10 compared to their 9 to 4, so I would make us slight favourites, but if I'm going to pick a result out of the three outcomes, I'm going to go for a draw. Uh, but God, I'd love a win. I, I mean, yeah, a win, I'm out all night, I really am. Um, but listen, guys, enjoy the game. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of this sort of stuff. Comment with your predictions in terms of lineups, scorelines, performance, any general thoughts you've got coming into this one. Follow my other socials, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I will see you next time.